Hi, Klaas. Hi, man. Hi, I'm sorry. Um, Hi, I, I try. I, I try. I tried connecting four times and in, in, in Zoom, it didn't let me. It was giving me I'm problems. Sorry. All right, but I'm in. Okay, we're in. So how are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I apologize. Uh, I couldn't join just uh, yesterday at the it's class. Okay. It's okay, no problem, no problem. Thank you. No problem. How was your day today, good? Pretty busy, teacher. Yes, what did you do? Hmm. A lot of things. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. It's but I'm okay. All right, it's good to be busy. Yeah, how about you? Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm a normal day. Another day, another dollar. Another? It's an expression in English. Another day, another dollar. Okay. But that's true. <laughs> yes, it's true. You know, another day, another dollar. Okay, let me open up the... The dashboard. All right. Do, 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 do. Let's open this. So yesterday, we were doing, um, we're practicing with adjectives, correct? And behaviors and personalities, remember? Yes. Yes, all right, good. I have a question, Jenny, how are you? Hello. Hi, how are you, how's your COVID? I feel a better than yesterday. Okay. Yeah. Um, I am rest and take a time with my computer, books. Are you going to um are you going to take the the test tomorrow? Yes. I I can go take get my test. What happens if it's negative? I I need to do uh, all the I I need prepare the books for my kids. No, no, no. But my question is, okay, you have have COVID for one week, correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But imagine tomorrow is negative. What happens? You can go back to the normal life. Yes, but. I use the mask 24 hours for prevention. Prevention, okay. Yeah, because she still uh, have the virus. Yeah, but, that's my question. Does the virus, because you're yeah. negative, the virus is dead or is still like- Yeah, the, but you cannot um, transmit to other persons. You can't. The doctor says me when I have COVID. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. Now, there is normally uh, old people have a virus and the Ministry of Health, they, they, they don't, they, they don't know uh, what is the, 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 the other virus, right? Yeah. I hear that there's a virus now for children. Yeah, it's more common. But I, you know, honestly, I don't understand the difference between Omicron and 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 uh, COVID. Corona. Yeah, I read. I read. It's the same thing. 
It's very yeah, complicated. I think that it's more, most uh, con contagious. contagious. But it's less dangerous, correct? No, yeah. I don't because know. I, I hear about the OPS uh, yesterday that uh, the Omicron is, is dangerous than the original uh, coronavirus, but uh, it's at the fucking shed, man, right? Because yeah. they they say a uh, lion or or really I, yeah. I don't know about the people say that Omicron is como el tercer hijo. I I I was listening <laughs> to that in the in in the radio, and people say why? O sea, con el tercer hijo lo ves comiendo tierra. Ay, déjenlo. <laughs> like you don't care anymore. Like ah, whatever. <laughs> So like COVID, it would be the first one. Like, I see sick, we have adults. You're like, oh, be careful, be careful. Like with your first son, no, don't eat that. Don't eat that, do, do. With the third son, get Thomas agua. <laughs> but I don't know. No, but I think it's, it's less dangerous than COVID-19, Omicron. Yes, that's, that's what I hear is, yeah. I don't, I, I don't understand why is more contagious? Why? Is... Because it's like that. <laughs> it's a uh, it's flu. Uh, yeah, the people it's like flu. Oh, yeah, I'm you gonna... think about the 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 flu, but uh, and really is the coronavirus. But yeah. the minister because... said uh, today, and I have one case for flu rona. Mm -hmm. uh, little flu, kid. Right? Ah, Florida yeah. with Corona from the United States. What the, the hell is that? The flu and COVID. Yeah. Yes, it's yes. Oh, man. About three things. I, I, I think I, I hear the news. Um, so, flu, COVID, and also the other thing? Florida? Influenza. Influenza. Mm -hmm. That's right. Sweeping in one virus. You know, I don't know, man. I, I, I don't know about man, but this is this is becoming ridiculous. How, how, how can you have three, four things in one? They say in the news. No, no, I understand. But you know, it's like, but, oh, no, that's too much. Then it's going to be this big cocktail of things. And you can have five things and it's always the same sim symptoms. Yeah, that's what I say. It's yeah, the that's, same. Same that's the same symptoms. symptoms. Now, yeah. when... when when you start growing another eye or a different nose, okay, that's dangerous. <laughs> okay, well, uh, yeah, you start growing the tail, imagine. <laughs> but oh, you have Omicron with flu and the influenza and Zika and, blah, 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 and it's the same symptoms. But I don't know. <laughs> but you know, one thing, one thing uh, before we start, I, I want to tell you, and I have a brother, my brother, he works in the LPS and, um, he told me re regarding re related to COVID, he told me that the biggest dangerous of COVID is really not you. It's really your family history. AD. Be because if you have problems breathing or blood problems, Yes or no, Jenny, when they call, when I imagine when they call you, they, they, they continue asking you, do you have family history in your family? Does anybody have this, that? And do they tell you, can you breathe? Can you walk 10 steps and breathe? Because that's what they really worry about. If um, I guess COVID really affects your, your lungs. And if you have family history with bad, bad uh, medical history it's very probable that you will be in trouble and my brother told me something and i never forget that he tells me he says remember this when you when you know that somebody died of covid there's a very very big probability that an immediate family from that person will die too Immediate family, mother, father, brother. 
And he says, because this really affects your background. And it's true, in my, in my neighborhood, two brothers died. And the two were doctors. <laughs> uh, my wife, her, her friend, her friend died and her father. And you know, and when that happens, I remember what my brother tells me. My neighbor, I have a neighbor that uh, she's in very, she's in good condition. Every morning she runs, she runs and she's in very, very good condition. <laughs> and um, her sister, she was hospitalized for six months. And then she got sick and she was hospitalized for two months. And her, her uncle died of COVID. So my brother told me, we are okay. <laughs> well, in my family, because my family doesn't have a history. Oh, lucky me. Pero nunca sabe uno. <laughs> because uh, I don't know if you have had COVID and you called it 3, 2, 1, or 1, 2, 3. I don't know what number. And they, they insist, they insist, can you breathe? Yes. Can you walk and get tired? And I always said, no, no. And then, you know, they sent the ambulance to my house. <laughs> but I got COVID. I got COVID when, like a year ago, when I was like. Original. Like, yeah, uh, you know, like, oh my God, you creo que. You creo que compraron mi Nietzsche. Original waves. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I think my family went to the Jardines del Recuerdo to go buy it. <laughs> <laughs> because now, now it's normal, you know, lastimosamente, it's normal. Hey, oh, boy, me dio COVID. Oh, tiene COVID. Oh, que sí que se cuide. But remember one year ago, tiene COVID. Oh, my God. Really? <laughs> Is he okay? <laughs> And you know, one thing I do recommend you, if you ever get COVID, please, please, please listen to the doctors. Don't listen to stupid people that says, mira, forget the medicine. <laughs> get lemon, pepper, and honey. Three times, a, uh, you know, oh man. <laughs> My brother, the, the doctor, he was telling me that the problem, he says lemon is good. But the problem is that you're telling people to drink lemonade because it has lemon. So people drink 10, five, 10 glasses of lemonade. So that means they're drinking a lot of sugar. And people with diabetes, uh, les está afectando el COVID, with people who have high blood pressure or diabetes, right? And sometimes you don't know that you have diabetes. So you're drinking a lot of lemonade y, y miel because somebody told you and maybe you're killing yourself. So in my, my personal opinion, listen to the doctor. Listen to the doctor and that's it. And be careful. Oh, and um, Jenny Quesada, in your case, your family, ya puede estar tranquila because your father, brother, sister, because, you know, if they get it, there's a very, very low possibility that. Yeah, my father, he is 87 years old. Yes. And he, he was COVID. He had yeah. COVID. He had COVID. And it, two weeks in the hospital with oxygen. No? Oxygen. Oxygen. Mm -hmm. oxygen. But uh, he, he have uh, consequences. Consequences, yeah. Oh, yeah. But feel good. Mm -hmm. You know this, the, my, my wife's friend, the one that I told you, it was very sad because she, 
it's it's I guess it's from the school, my wife's school, and they have a chat in, in WhatsApp. They have a group, and she says, "Oh my God, amigas, I got COVID. Please pray for me." Okay, and everybody, oh man, be careful, you know. And then they asked her, "How are you?" Oh, I feel a little better. But Wednesday, oh amigas, please pray for me. I'm in the hospital because por precaución, you know. They they oh okay. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, everybody, are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. Tomorrow, I leave. Saturday, right? She died Saturday. <laughs> like suddenly, like boom. And she was okay now. That was sad. That's the difference that I that I think uh, uh, entre el COVID-19 and Omicron. Yes. Lo voy a decir en español. El cuadro clínico te cambiaba en un día, en cuestión de horas, el COVID anterior. Y justo te morían en un segundo, o sea, un ratito. Maybe that's and what now, happened to her. And now it's, it's very different. Uh, my, my parents had COVID uh, two weeks ago, and I I'm, and I'm almost died just with the news. And I crying and, and my mom told me eh, sweetie i'm okay i don't feel anything i don't feel nothing and my brother in love died about a year eh, COVID. Oh, man. and he feel bad one tuesday and go to the hospital on thursday and he died on sunday it's, it was like three days. Wow, man. And That's my so parents cool. are different. They, they don't feel nothing. And they, and they have that, they have diabetes. 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 <laughs> diabetes. Are they okay and now? They are okay. They feel well. They, uh, yeah, do do father, they still have COVID? Uh, they don't take uh, the other test, uh, but they still have the la llamada del, del gobierno the quarantine they're, they're still yeah, in quarantine they're still in quarantine uh -huh. okay, but good. they are fine they are fine good. you know when when that happened to me i was very happy with with the ministry of health they were very good to me they sent me immediately they sent me the medicines they called me five times a day every day and then five and then four three that's when i knew i was better <laughs> because when they stopped calling me when they you know and they tell me David, okay yes i think the problem uh, for some case maybe is uh sequelas sequels yes sequels Be uh, because, because I, I got my asthma back <laughs> because i had covid in september but mm -hmm. right now i can't smile you can't smile. Yes, sometimes I feel, but I can't well. No, I'm sorry, you, you can't do this? No, smile, smell, smell. Oh, smell. smell. Yes. Really, and in this moment, I you can't feel. smell? No, no, maybe in the 50%. Yeah, I don't my know. mother. My mother had COVID too, and and that's uh, very difficult to the I don't know the taste go back here. Yes, heard the taste. Sorry, I dropped my camera. Oh my god! I wish I lose appetite. That would be a beautiful sequel. <laughs> Imagine. No, I'm not hungry. Hmm. How many pupusas? Only one because with two I get full. Oh man, that would be a beautiful sequel. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's start. So um, yesterday we we're talking about behaviors, correct? Oh, I'm sorry, Kalena. You, I remember you told me you are a teacher, correct? For what grade? Um, I'm in prepa right now. Do you think it's safe for kids to study in 
physically? My personal opinion, yes. Do you think it's okay? Yes, it's okay. Oh, okay. They have a, they need to, to that part, the social part. Yes, it's true. Uh, and, and in prepa is very important because they learn to, to write and, and to read. Where and, and what is the name of your school? I'm sorry if I may ask. I am in Britannica. In oh, okay. Britannica and, and very it's very important. And and, and we saw the change uh, the the virtual uh, 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 presencial for them is is a uh, huge uh, Yeah, I think I think for children in that age, virtual does not mm -hmm. no. hmm. Maybe high school, yes, but uh, for a little kid, kinder, prepa, virtual, yeah. no, it's difficult. Yes, it, it was. It was very difficult for him then. I remember my son, my son is five, and, and like last year, for the first months, he was virtual. Oh, man, poor teacher. <laughs> that teacher was like, hi, kids. She was like, she <laughs> really wanted their attention. <laughs> And, you know, me as a teacher, I, I thinking like, wow, that teacher, when, when imagine she has to teach, what, five classes or five hours doing that. Hi, good. Ah, yes. You see your we mouth. dance and we. Yeah, that poor teacher <laughs> yes. at the end. <laughs> yes. yes. All right, let's do the, blah, 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 blah. let's listen to this lady talk about how did you behave in your teens in your 20s and now you understand teens right do you know what teens are Adolescentes. yes what when does teen start and end do you know 12 to i don't know 20. Are you a teenager, Mirna? Yeah. Okay. Listen, it's very simple. It's anything that ends in teen. 17, 18. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 13 to 19. Yes. Your teens. And then you have your 20s. And then your 30s. Y ahí es cuando empiezan las mujeres como 40s, y empiezan como early 40s, mid 40s, late 40s. Like me. <laughs> like you, yeah. Okay, so um, your teens, your 20s, your 30s. All right. Your single, your single life, your married life. All right, let's listen to this lady. Let's see what she has to say. We're about to study some adjectives which will help you talk about behavior and personality. Ambitious, argumentative, carefree, yeah, did that yesterday. conscientious, naive, was from yesterday. Yes. pragmatic, rebellious, Sensible, sophisticated. Yes. Can you tell us how you behaved in your teens, in your 20s? How do you behave now? Try to be as honest as possible. Okay. In my teens, I was crazy. I was very... I can't believe it. I, I can't believe all the stupid things I did when I was a teenager. <laughs> um, imagine, my, my, I remember my very, very first rock and roll concert, it was Nirvana. And I was 13, 14, and I escaped from my house at night. Two hours I traveled to go see Nirvana. Wow, yeah. that's a great show, teacher. Look, look at you. Nirvana bands. Yeah. Oh, but I have a scar because <laughs> because my, 
No, my mother. <laughs> <laughs> because <laughs> she went to my room and then she discovered that I wasn't there, you know. So she waited for me until I got home from the concert, you know. I was like, yeah. Oh, my he God. Wasn't the, the, the or, or, or the pit. <laughs> it was your mom. <laughs> no, yeah. When I opened the door, she was sitting in the couch. Oh, you son of a... And she took off her shoe and threw it at me. Whoa. And... So every time I remember this, I, oh, uh, oh, no, this was the Mosh in the Nirvana concert. No, it was, yeah. it, it was my mother's shoes <laughs> because of the Nirvana concert. <laughs> okay, what about you and your teens? How are you, Rafael Mayen? Hey, thank you, teacher. Well, uh, I don't have the, the same luck as you to, to see a rock concert. I actually like a lot uh, rock music. Oh yeah, me Maybe. too. I like rock music. Okay, but do you like do you a... like Linkin Park and Limp Bizkit? Uh, the, the earliest, the earliest, um, okay. the early, the early years. Yeah, that's that, that's where I stop. Into... That's where I mm -hmm. stop listening to rock. <laughs> Only from the nineties yeah. back. The best decades, actually. Yes. 80s and 90s were the best. So uh, well, how were you when you were in your 90s? I'm sorry. How were you when you were in your teens in your 90s? <laughs> well, I, I, I like a lot uh, to see to the movies. I was uh, very um, laid back with my friends and going to places, uh, visiting their um, my, my friends' houses. How old are you? I'm sorry, Rafael. If I'm, I'm 47. Teacher. You're 47, okay. And yeah, were you I in was, San Salvador? I live in Santa Ana. I, all your life you lived in Santa Ana? Yes, but I work in San Salvador. Oh, okay. Do you remember, for example, Los Capulines? Uh, yes, a, a, a friend of of mine has a, a capulin tree and an Ikako tree. I don't know if you know that. The no, 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 there was a famous bar in the 90s in, in San Salvador. It was Los Capulines. Ah, no, no, sorry. No, I, 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 I don't know. My husband knows about the Capulines. Oh, yeah. Every, I think everybody, <laughs> everybody, everybody my age knows Los Capulines, man. There were, <laughs> I don't know why. It was a famous bar and there were like chickens. Like you're drinking ah, okay. beer and suddenly you see a chicken. Oh, shh. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was cool. Okay. All right, so you were you were very laid back. Nice, nice. All right, what about you, Kalena? How are you in your in your university day? Uh, in my university, I was the the most happy person at the university. The happiest. Because I study the happiest person at the university. I I study. I, I am an architect. I study in in Einstein University, okay. Albert Einstein University. Okay. And I have a group of friends, and uh, we always do the the homeworks. Uh, together and and it, I think for me is the the best time of my life the the time of the university. Yeah, it was. It, it was a hard uh, architecture is is a hard. Uh, es una carrera difícil. Difficult. Pero but uh, difficult. Okay. But uh, we, we know we we visit a lot of towns around the El Salvador doing a lot of things, uh, homeworks. Oh man, that was fun. Uh, yes, it was, it was, it was. Okay, I have a question, Kalina. Do you know why is happiest and not most happy? Uh, I think so. Why? The most happy is uh, más feliz. 
I think I think that it's the same thing, but if the correct is happiest. Okay. Right? No, or actually not? happiest is the correct. Most happy is not correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But let me explain oh, okay. why. Let me explain why. First of all, you have mm -hmm. to understand one thing. Happy is an adjective. Mm -hmm. Yes. How many adjectives in happy? I'm sorry. How many syllables? Uh, Two. Two. Two? Do, do this. Look. Mm -hmm. Happy. Happy. Yes. Two syllables, right? Mm -hmm. So when yes. this is this is a very good trick. Listen. When an adjective has one or two syllables. We say est. Happy, happiest. Ugly, ugliest. Um, Tall, tallest. tallest. Now, mm -hmm. when the adjective is three syllables or more, we use most. Example, beautiful. Beautiful. Three syllables, correct? Three syllables. So most beautiful. Okay. The most beautiful. So like, for example, Kalena, she said, I think, I think uh, my university days were the most beautiful days of my life or one of the most beautiful days of my life. That was when you were like friends forever and I love you. We're going to be friends, right? Friends forever. All right, class, do you, so do you understand the difference now with the, with the syllables? Yes, thank you, thank you. A good yes. tip, teacher. Sure. Okay, good, no problem. What is this? Hey, I didn't know this has light. Huh. Whoa, I'm blind. I didn't know my camera has light. So listen. Um, David. Yes. I have a question. Sure. When I, big, biggest, I yes. can say more biggest. Okay, I say what. Let me teach you the complete thing. Okay, let's, quedémonos con big. There's two things, big, bigger, and biggest. Big is, is um, Mexico is big, correct? United States is bigger than Mexico. ¿Qué dije? Más grande. Más grande um, que Mexico. So that, that's called comparative. But Canada is the biggest. Mucho más grande o más grande. El más grande. El más grande. That's called a superlative. So big has three things, the adjective, the comparative, and the superlative. Y la misma regla. Big, how many syllables? One. Yeah. So the comparative of big is bigger. And the superlative, biggest. Beautiful, more beautiful, and most beautiful. So for example, Maylin, here, here I have a question for you. All right? Yes. And it's, a, it's a very difficult question. Are you ready? Yes. All right, who is more beautiful, Brad Pitt or me? I think. Yeah, I, no, wait, you know what? No, I'm sorry, it's too difficult. Let me change the question. That's too difficult. Brad Pitt or Cavill? Oh. Or that Superman man, the Cavill, what's his name? Uh, yes, yes. I think Brad Pitt for me. You see, she answered that quicker, so that was an easy question. But when I hear Brad Pitt or me, she was thinking like, oh my God. Yes, that's it's difficult. difficult. I can't 
<laughs> no, I'm joking. Very good. So that's the difference. Remember, so we have ugly. What is the comparative of ugly? Mirna? Uglier. <laughs> uglier, yes, yeah. uglier. And then the superlative? Ugliest. Ugliest. So remember, when is the comparative uglier? You have to have two things. You're comparing two things. But when you say the superlative, you're just generalizing. Teacher, Ian, in the in the superlative, you used to you we have to use the, the auxiliary da, the ugliest, the yes, the big question, the biggest, the ugliest, yes. For example, um, young. What do you think, Rafael Mayang? What do you think is the superlative of young? Youngest. Okay, so can you tell me use the word youngest with Mirna in a sentence? Um, Mirna is the youngest um, a student in the class. Exactly. Very good. Mirna is the ugliest, I'm, I'm sorry, the youngest student in the class. I'm joking, Mirna, I'm joking. Okay, yes, Mirna is the youngest student in the class. But now let's compare. Let me see. Uh, you are 47, Rafael. Orlando, how old are you? You're on mute. Sorry, uh, 40 year old, yes. How old are you? 40 year old. <clears throat> Early 40s. Ah, early 40s. <laughs> okay, very good, early 40s. So David Hernandez, who do you think is older, Rafael or Orlando? I think... Uh, uh, Rafael is uh, younger than Orlando. Older than? Uh, so Orlando is... Older than Rafael. Uh, I remember Rafael said he is 47. Uh, I don't remember. And Orlando said he is in his early 40s. So, so Orlando is somewhere between 40 and 44. Uh -huh. Rafael is uh, older than Orlando. Okay, good. Yes. Thank you, David. You're my man. <laughs> you no, man, it, it? it was exciting. I asked him for a favor, teacher. <laughs> but in no, the WhatsApp. Man, dude, we're young. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm 44. He's the new 30s, I think. It's the new 30s. <laughs> yes, because I remember when I was 20. Man, for me, somebody 40 was like, said I have, man. And it's ironic because now if you go to a bar or something, you will see 40s. You, you see know, we have, it. We have a, a, a work mate in, 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 in my job. And he's yes. a millennial. He's like 20, 23, I think. And we were with, with our boss and, and we were having lunch. And then he said, he was talking about some history. Man, then I, I see a, a, a couple of guys and they I, and, my, and my boss say, how are they? They look old, like, like 30 years. <laughs> we, come on, man, we are. Yeah. We, come on. In my job too, sometimes I see kids, they're like 20. And, and they eat this very strange food. And what are you eating? Oh, it's gluten. <laughs> Glu what the hell? <laughs> gluten, and then they drink like, I don't know, purificated Where water. Where did you and, work? Where did you so, work? Where do you work? No, actually, I, I work in, in the day, I work with, um, in, with a real estate company in the United States. So I work with gringos, but sometimes um, there's two more people here that in my, in my team 
And when we have a, a lunch, you know, like we go to Bennigan's. I think last week we went to Bennigan's and um, they look at the menu. This could be just gluten. Like, oh my God. <laughs> it's like, oh my God. Uh -huh, like, and what do you want to drink? Un te chai and to chai, to chai, to chai. <laughs> and I said, hamburger and a Coke, please. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, um, you understand now the comparative superlatives, correct? Correct. Yes. No questions. Nope. So, what would be the superlative of intelligent? Most intelligent. Huh? Most intelligent. The most, most intelligent. intelligent. Yes. Okay, class. Now listen, there are only two exceptions. Two exceptions, okay? The two exceptions are good and bad. Si siguiéramos las reglas, good. El comparativo de good sería gooder. Correct? Yes. But it's not. The comparative of good is better. And the best. superlative is best. Best. Why? I don't know. I think nobody knows why. Because it's, it's the only exceptions. Because good is an adjective. Tall is an adjective, beautiful is an adjective, but nobody will it ever know. Better. Yeah, maybe. It's uh, pretty. <laughs> mm -hmm. The most good. No, it doesn't sound good. And for, for bad, the comparative of bad is worse. What is it? Worse. And the superlative is worst. Por ejemplo, con la selecta nos podemos dar gusto si cuál ha sido peor. <laughs> Which selecta is worse, the Hugo Perez or the Carlos de los Cobos? Oh, los Cobos, of course. Ajá, o uno, no, también la de bla, 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 bla. But the worst, la peor, is difficult because they're all terrible. <laughs> Maybe all right. for a mundial and... 11, I don't know. <laughs> no. Eh, the, perdió 10, 11, no sé qué. Creo que se uh, 82. <laughs> they were the best. Yeah, they were the best. Mm. Um, all right, let's play the video. Tell me, can you hear? Hold on. Yes. Should you have learned English before? Yes. Stay and learn how to express hear? regrets and describe hypothetical yes. situations. Page 75, exercise eight, grammar focus. Expressing regret and describing hypothetical situations. Expressing regret. I should have studied something more practical when I was in college. I shouldn't have waited so long to choose a major. Describing hypothetical situations. If I'd been more ambitious in college, I could have learned another language. If I hadn't wasted so much money last year, I would have my own apartment now. When we want to express regrets, we need to follow the rule. Subject plus should have plus past participle. It's important for you to know that you should have to speculate about or imagine things that did or didn't happen. For example, I should have paid attention to what I ate as a kid. When you want to describe a hypothetical situation, we need to use this rule. If plus subject plus had plus past participle, comma, subject plus could or would have plus past participle. Notice the use of could or would have shows what didn't happen. For example, 
if I hadn't wasted so much money last year, I would have bought my own apartment. In other words, I didn't buy the house because I had no money. Can you put yourself in the following hypothetical situations? Write them on our discussion box. plus had, plus past participle. <coughs> when you want to describe it, you have to speculate about or You are in mute, man. Thank you, sorry about that. So expressing a regret, do you know what a regret is? Yes. Yeah, something you did and you're not happy about. Yes? Let me give you an example. Okay, the politicians in this country are very stupid people. Uh, and <laughs> let me give you an example, Tony Saka. That man is an idiot because he stole a lot, a lot of money and he stayed in El Salvador. He made a big mansion in El Salvador. He should have left to, I don't know, go, go to Switzerland or, or Philippines or something, but don't stay in El Salvador with all the money and expect people to believe that, oh no, this is with my, let me trabajo aparte, no. You know, so uh, maybe in this moment, uh, Tony Saka is like, man, I should have left the country. Me hubiera ido el país. I should have. Yes. Um, Kalena, uh, or, or no, let me see. Jenny, give me an example with something you regret. I should I should have working no I should have worked mm. no remember um this is something you already did sure Kalena if 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 I had been careful what I ate when I was young, I will have better eating habits. Okay, good. But in this case, make it more simple. I should have eaten better when I was younger. I should have eaten better when I was younger. Uh, I will have in those days a better habits. Mm -hmm. I will have better habits now. No, I will have better habits now. Yes. Mm -hmm. Did you ever have a, example ladies, did you ever have a, a boyfriend and now he's a millionaire? Para no. que digan, oh man, I should have married him. <laughs> no, I'm joking. All right, Nuria, uh, I'm sorry, Mirna, tell me something. Something you regret in your short, short life. Okay, I should have. I should have bought the black shoes, not the red shoes. No, but, but listen, <laughs> but it's I should. No, I shouldn't. Yeah, I, I should, should have. Mm -hmm. I should have, haven't. No, I should have. I should have. Ah, but that's post. How can I make negative? Like I shouldn't I, have. I shouldn't have. Mm -hmm. But that's okay. I shouldn't have. Um, 
trust in my ex friends. <laughs> okay, good. I shouldn't have trusted my ex friends. Trust, yeah, my ex friends. Very good. Yeah. All right, good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Se me adelantó un poco, pero está bien. No se culpa. Let's do one round of I should have, and then we're going to do one round of negative of I shouldn't have. All right, Jenny Quesada. Ooh, le dio COVID. Give me something I should have. I shouldn't have. No, I should have. I, sh I shouldn't have. No, I shouldn't. I should. Affirmative. Okay. I should have safe. Miren, okay, okay. Esto es algo que ahorita están arrepentidos. Yes. Jenny, me imagino, y esto es cierto, que mucha gente le pregunta, ¿y a dónde le dio? <ríe> Como, y uno se dice, ¿really, man? Si supiera. O, o, ¿Y quién se lo pasó? La enfermedad, perdón. Entonces, uno se pone a pensar y dice, man, hubiera, pues, hubiera usado la mascarilla siempre, pero yo a veces me la quitaba. Hoy, o sea, hoy uno se se lo lamenta, vaya, más bien dicho. En vez de arrepentirse, hoy uno lo lamenta. I shouldn't have Pero no es I shouldn't, hand. es I should. I should have washed my My hands always. Mm -hmm. Yes, no, repeat please. I should have Wash my hand always. Yes. All right, good, good, good for you. Sonia Perez, tell me something. Something you regret. I should have studied more English in the university. Hey, that's good. That's good. Yeah, it's true. All right, Orlando. Uh, <clears throat> when I was a young, I should have finished my university. Okay, good. I should have finished the university. Okay, good. Rodrigo Gonzalez, give me an example. I should have a uh, driver fast. I don't understand. I should have driver fast. Driver is motorista. Rodrigo, Rodrigo me, está, me está diciendo debería haber man, eh, debería haber motorista rápido. Drive, driven, driven, driven. Okay, driven. Okay, good. Pero Rodrigo, ahí qué es lo que lamenta? O, o de qué es lo que Lo que se arrepiente. Le voy, oh, Rodrigo, le voy a dar un ejemplo mejor y usted deme el, lo que lamenta, ¿ok? Y un ejemplo, yo no sé si usted bebe o no, pero en el ejemplo usted bebe alcohol, ¿ok? Rodrigo, you went to the bar, you drank 10 beers, and when you were going home, the police stopped you. You are in jail. Se fue a la cárcel. Y hoy estoy en la cárcel, lo estoy visitando. Lo digo, what happened?
Okay, we have bad connection, Rodrigo. I can't hear you. Somebody can help Rodrigo? So imagine you went to a bar, you drank 20 beers, you're driving, the police stopped you, and now you are in trouble. I shouldn't stay in my home. Okay, otra vez, vuelvo a repito, no digan shouldn't. No estamos haciendo should. negativo. He should stay. He, he, he should have stayed at home. He should have stayed home, good. Or he should have called Uber. Yeah. Or he should have or called. He who Uber. have taken just two beers. Okay, good. Drank two beers. He can't. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of difficult. You can't go to a bar and only drink two beers. No. Pero, yeah. miren, quiero que sepan <laughs> por qué tienen que decir should y shouldn't. Él debería de haber hecho eso. O debió haber hecho eso, más bien dicho. Debió haber hecho. Él debió haber llamado un Uber. Él debió haber llamado a sus amigos. Él debió, haber, o sea, porque ya lo hizo. Pero también si decimos en negativo, él no debió haber ido. Ahí es, sí es negro. He shouldn't have gone. Pero como este caso lo hizo. Ok, Nuri. Nuri, Nuri, Nuri. Let me, let me, let me tell you a, a situation, ok? Ok. I saw this beautiful watch. No, uh, uh, I don't know. This beautiful purse, purse, cartera. It was a Michael Kors. Kors, ¿cómo se llama eso? Kors. Michael, Michael Kors. Michael Kors. Michael Kors. And it was original. And this person was in the street. He says, hey, look, give me $5. And I look at the purse and it was very beautiful. And I, I remembered my wife. But I said, <laughs> no, no, thank you. It was good or bad idea. Está bueno o malo lo que hizo. Nuri? Yes. Ok, necesito que también que me ayuden aquí porque, o sea, imagine, I need your imagination, ok? So listen, I was in the street. This man came to me. He said, hey, look, Michael Kors. New, nueva. Yes. Se cayó de un furgón. <laughs> and I said, oh, nice. <laughs> How much? Give me $5. It's yours. And I said, no, no, thank you. Bye. What? Okay. And then when, when I came you home. Should have, you should have bought. Exactly. You should have bought the first. The, the bag. Birds, the bag. For your wife. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. Yes. I should have bought the purse and wait for next month for uh, Valentine's <laughs> Day. <laughs> yes. Valentine. Mm. Oh, wow. Thank you. Next time. All right. And you should have said, oh, I bought this bag. And I spent a lot of money. <laughs> oh, you're bad, Mirna. <laughs> David. I am in trouble, David. Tell me. Tell me. I am in trouble with my wife. I forgot my anniversary. Um, you should have a... a Giving a gift, an expensive gift. Well, see, si, but that, the problem is I forgot. Yes, after you forgotten the the anniversary, you shall have a, given a, a his a wife an expensive gift. 
Yeah, okay, but you know what? That's a bad idea because even if I give her an expensive gift, they never forget. <laughs> so maybe you should have a game uh, serenata. Oh, okay, good. Very you good. You should have set an you alarm should. to remember. There you go. That's a you good one, too. Have not in the agent. You should for have the next year. Yes, you should have told Google, Google, remind, remember. <laughs> remind me Monday is my anniversary in the calendar. I should have put an alarm for that day at five in the morning. Yes, you do. You, you should have uh, found a liar to yeah. <laughs> to make a divorce. It is this example because you're a, you're a computer man. <laughs> no, <laughs> but but you know what? And yes, I do that. I'll be honest with you, I check on Facebook. Yes. I know yes. that my I know Hell that my wife's my wife's birthday, I know it's in September, but I, sometimes I forget the day. So I go to her Facebook and oh, okay, good. <laughs> I do the <laughs> same. Yeah, I think it, it, everybody. It's, it's important to yeah, check Facebook too. early. <laughs> yes. Okay, good. Thank you very much. Yes. So remember, these are called regrets, man. Mm, I should have. I should have. I should have. Yes. Um, do you like Lucha Libre? Wrestling? UFC. UFC. No, WWE. No. no. But but remember it's like oh, but I like it. <laughs> but remember <laughs> when they when they came to I am a very big fan, but remember when they came to El Salvador? <laughs> they came. Yes, I remember. I remember. Yeah, I remember. When in 1970. Oh, when? <laughs> when? No, oh, see, yeah. Vino Batista um, Remis. Yo tengo la camisa Rey Sean Michaels. The taker, maybe. Todo yes. Yeah. And I remember that night, my brother, they went to uh, La Gran Via. And my brother, vamos. Sorry. I'm sorry. And I remember that day, I was like, oh, man. No, no quiero ir, no quiero ir. I don't want to go, I don't want to go, I don't want to go. So then the next day, my brother sends me the pictures. And he took pictures with all the wrestlers. I estaban en la Gran Vía. And I said, oh, man, I should have gone. <laughs> yeah, he told me they were walking. And my brother dijo, sé que son luchadores porque eran grandes, right? And he took pictures with them. <laughs> yeah. Okay, class, I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we will practice the negative, okay? Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. Have you. a good night. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. You too. Bye, you too. Thank you. See you on Monday. Bye.